also want to talk about something that I think is one of the biggest challenges for women, and it's that inner voice. Stacy mentioned this. Not good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, thin enough, not the right color, didn't go to the right school. I promise you that if I listened to society, I wouldn't get out of bed in the morning. I'm old and I'm fat. I'm not a little chunky. I'm not pleasantly plump. I'm full on Mac Daddy fat. That's right, I said it. Yes, I am. I'm a size 24, I wear an 11, and I'm probably rolling in around 275 right now. It's not where I want to be, but let me tell you, I weighed 400 pounds. It's not, a, but at 400 pounds, I was the best dressed woman in the room. Because if you can't hide it, decorate it. I'll let that sink in for a moment. Because what you tell yourself matters. Your inner voice is the GPS of your life. If you get up in the morning, when you want to go somewhere, if you drove here and you used your GPS, you didn't say, I'd like the longest route, I'd like to hit a bunch of potholes, and if you could ram me into a wall, that would be awesome. <laughs> right? Nobody says that. But that's what we say to ourselves, right? Oh my God, you don't look at, oh my God, that girl's beautiful. You're not that pretty. You're not that smart. You have an accent. All of the things that diminish your power. There are enough people in the world who will try to take your power away. Don't you dare give it to them. When I get up in the morning, I go, hell no, here I come. Yes, I am. Here I'm coming. And you know, last night, I'll tell you a quick story. Last night I was on the airplane, there was a lot of delays getting here, and I sat next to a woman who insisted on telling me how tired I would be, how bad I would look, I probably wasn't gonna make it, and I thought to myself, I don't, you have no power over me. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna throw a lash on at, not, at six o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna show up with as much power as I possibly have because what you tell yourself matters. And our plane took off and the makeup artist showed up and here we are. <laughs> so what you say matters. And it's not about I'm happy being where I am, but this is the skin I'm in today. Do not live your life with the hold button on. I don't care if you're 18 or 80, grab your power. But I think this is one of the most powerful videos to talk about our self-talk. Let's watch this. It was my choice. And now I will question myself for the next few weeks, maybe months. We had an option of two pathways to walk, and they led to two doorways. It was a bit confronting, actually, to be honest, to see these big signs and feeling like you had to choose and be self-conscious of how you perceive yourself and perhaps if it lines up with how the rest of the world perceives you. I went through the average door. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I didn't even hesitate. Plan,对我的概念来说，就是呃，好像呃，明星那种遥不可及的那种。我走的是一般。没事，我还是可以买一些，因为我觉得，因为我是一般。Am I because of what's constantly bombarded at me, what I'm being told that I should accept, or am I choosing because that's what I really believe? I walked into that door with said average and I didn't feel really good after that because obviously I had rated myself average and nobody else. Todos os dias eu passo pela porta comum, 
E ontem foi um dia único e eu optei por passar pelo Bonita. I wanted to go through the average door, but my mum just pulled me over to the beautiful door. <laughs> It was quite a triumphant feeling. It was like telling the world, I think I'm beautiful. I just wish more young women realized it. I think I would walk through the beautiful door. I think a porta bonita tá completamente aberta para mim. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could walk in that door. You can. Next time I look into the mirror, I will see somebody really beautiful looking back at me. Beautiful is a great word. So why not see what's on the other side of that? So I've seen this video hundreds of times, and I'm always struck by something that happens. The woman who chooses neither door, there's always a laugh. And I would submit to you, there are women in this room that wouldn't even choose the average door. And for me, the fact that someone would stand and look at the word average and not even think she was good enough for that is why I'm up here today. And we laugh because we're uncomfortable. I also always notice the moms who laugh when she pulls her daughter through because it's so awesome, right? She grabs her daughter and pulls her through. And what I would submit to you is if we want to raise confident girls, we as women and as mothers have to walk through that door when our daughters aren't there. Pulling your daughter through the door doesn't make her confident. Having her see you walk through that door is what will make your daughter and your son confident. And the last thing I would say to you is, I submit that we're gonna have a generation of young women and young people who don't have pictures of their mothers because women are so self-critical of that they, they take a selfie and they delete it. You know, we have to put a filter on our pictures because of our chin or the line because that wasn't there yesterday. My mother died when I was 24 and I would pay anything and do anything to see the liver spots on my mother's hands. Because beauty is not about how high your cheekbones are, beauty is about what you put into the world. It's just as simple as that. Beauty is completely your energy. Think about someone you love deeply. When you describe them, you don't say, well, she's about a size four and she has blonde hair. What you say is the emotion that person creates. So please, 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 walk through the beautiful door.